Hey everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a little while since I've done a video. Sorry about that, I've been kind of busy. Um, this one's just going to be a little quickie on uh, a little tool that I picked up and I kind of like it, it's kind of neat. And the tool is a mag jumper is what it's called. And what it is is a jumper wire. I don't know if you can read that or not. It's a jumper wire, but instead of having alligator clips it's got magnets on the end and I believe it's going to come in very handy during my many years of working as an electrician in the factory I've developed the habit of always having certain things on me at all times and one of them being a jumper wire uh, you never know when uh, a jumper wire is going to come in handy a lot of times you can troubleshoot a piece of equipment just with a jumper wire if you know the sequence of operation and know what you're looking for um, not always, but a jumper wire is a good thing to have in your arsenal to service equipment. Yeah, I keep one in my pocket all the time. So normally, normally the jumper wires I have have alligator clips. And they're handy, but sometimes can be awkward. Um, this is one of them I keep in my pocket all the time. And it's just a short little small alligator clip jumper wire and they come in real handy except for when you're working on some styles of terminal strips um, jumper wire works okay on this type of a terminal strip where you've got a big screw and plenty of room but even then that they, they sometimes come off but usually well see there jumped right off Usually you can get those on there and they'll stay. Now, where the problem comes in is when you have stuff like the thermostat or like on a zone controller, you've got these little set screws that they're set into the plastic. You can't really get a good connection in there. It doesn't want to stay to start with. And even if you do get it to clamp on, what you're clamping onto is the plastic housing, not the screw. So you might get enough tension to touch that screw and keep it in there, and you might not. That's always a pain in the butt. Now you can loosen the screws, stick a piece of wire or paper clip in there, and do other things to make your connections and know that they're good. But who wants to do that? So... I went ahead and ordered this jumper wire and I love it for this part of the operation I love it because it just goes right into it it won't it goes right into it it goes into the hole and sticks they're very powerful magnets I can connect them to anything and it doesn't matter how deep the screw is they go right in even in this board which they're pretty deep they snap right in and they stay and you have no worries very very handy much handier than trying to get the alligator clip in there and try to get it to make good contact so it also works on the this style works very well on the screw style works very well it'll work on anything that's got a screw so you've got something that a magnet will stick to now the one drawback is it's obviously it's not going to stick to aluminum or brass so this jumper wire is not going to be effective sticking to uh, well it's stuck to that one let me take that back stuck to that one I'm surprised so those are steel now I come over here to this relay and they won't stick then we come back to the contactors and there's a metal screw so it's not a problem it sticks right to it works well and I wouldn't use it it's not rated for high voltage obviously so you wouldn't you wouldn't use it across the contactor it's too light it's mainly for control voltage but 
just as an example, I wanted to show you that if you have a screw, it sticks well. If it's just a, a push-on terminal, it's not really going to stick. Um, this one here, I think, has steel terminals. So it would stick. But there again, I think that's a high voltage. Yeah, that's a heater element, so... You don't want to use it on that. Yeah, it's not going to work for things like this. But anyway, the proper tool for the proper job in the control circuit, it is going to work very well. Just a quick little demonstration of a handy little tool that I picked up. I think I got it for 12 bucks or something on eBay. Um, very handy. They come in different colors. Um, I got the yellow. I think they have black and blue, maybe. But very handy. It's going to come in handy for troubleshooting equipment. And once again, it is called the Mag Jumper. And you can find it at magjumper.com or I got this one off of eBay. So check it out. See if it does any good for you. I kind of like it. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up. That's what I have for you today. Thanks for watching.